Hi everyone, I'm Tilly. Welcome to another Youth Circus Home Edition video. Today we're going to be doing some costume making. We'll be making this beautiful circus hair scrunchie, perfect for you all to wear to class once they start up again. So let's have a look. So for this project you are going to need some scrap fabric. I've got this piece of silver velvet left over from a costume I was making, but you guys might have an old t-shirt or any old clothes really uh, or just any scrap of fabric that you can cut a 15 centimeter by 30 centimeter rectangle out of. You're going to need some elastic so I've got this knicker elastic that works really well uh, but you could also just use an old hair tie if you were stuck. Uh, you just need to cut it in half. You will need a pair of scissors. Dressmaking scissors are best, but any scissors will do for this. Some pins, a safety pin like this, and either a needle and thread or a sewing machine. So, first up, we're going to cut out our fabric. So, you can see, hopefully, that I've just drawn out my rectangle here that I want to cut and that is about 15 centimetres deep and 30 centimetres along. The longer your fabric is, the more bunched up your scrunchie is going to be and the wider it is, the sort of wider this part of your scrunchie is going to be. Great, so now I'm going to get rid of that and we are going to fold our fabric in half this way with the good side, so the right side, on the inside. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a tube out of this fabric. So I'm going to pin this in half. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch about two centimetres from the edge all the way along here. So. I'm going to do this on a sewing machine because it will just be quicker but if you don't have a sewing machine you can do this with a needle and thread. Okay so now you should be able to see I've just stitched all the way along this seam. So next up we're going to turn this tube of fabric inside out and for that we're going to need a safety pin. So I'm just going to pop my safety pin into one side of the top of my tube and then turn it over and then I can use that to bunch the fabric up and slide it over itself. So now we've got this lovely tube with a nice seam running all the way down. It's time to look at our elastic. So here I've got this piece of elastic and I've cut it to 16 centimetres long and I'm going to use that same safety pin to feed our elastic through our tube. So I'm again going to top, pop this in the top of my piece of elastic and I'm going to feed this through the inside of my tube trying to be really careful that I don't lose the end because I'm going to need that. And for now I'm just going to join that safety pin to this bit of elastic so that I don't lose it. And you can already see how our scrunchie's gonna look. So, next up, I need to join these two pieces of elastic. I'm gonna take a pin, and I'm gonna unclip my safety pin, and I'm gonna replace that with a pin that I can stitch over. And so I'm gonna put one side of my elastic over the other side, and we've allowed for sort of anywhere between a centimetre and two centimetres overlap. So again, you can either use a sewing machine or a needle and thread, but I'm just going to try and stitch like a box shape over this overlap section. So you should be able to see I've stitched a very messy box shape to my overlapped elastics and then I'm gonna just work my velvet, my fabric, around that piece of elastic. 
So next up, our last step is just to tidy up these loose edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push one inside the other one. When I've done that, I'm going to try and fold this edge over so that you don't see that, that raw edge and instead you've got a nice folded edge. And when I'm happy with how I've worked that out, I'm going to pin it in place. And the great thing about scrunchies is because they're so scrunched up, you don't really see these tiny details, so they don't have to be perfect in any way. Then I'm just going to stitch along that seam to keep that in place. Great, so all that's left to do is just tidy up those loose edges. So trim those bits of thread, and then we're just going to work our piece of fabric around so it's nice and scrunched up. And there we have it, a scrunchie. So that's all from me. I hope you had fun. Thanks so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you all with your fabulous new hairdos as soon as classes get back. Bye. Do try this at home.